It's officially summer! It's time to break out those glow sticks and party. But have you ever thought about what makes glow-in-the-dark things actually glow? First off, you have to understand why things even give off light. The electrons of an atom have a normal, stable amount of energy that they usually have. When these atoms are excited or given energy by photons or chemicals, the electrons bump up to a higher energy level. The atom is no longer stable, and the atom wants to be stable, so the electron will bump back down to its original, stable amount of energy. The energy that is lost, or given off, is a photon, also known as light. There are three different types of glow-in-the-dark. Chemiluminescence, phosphorescence, and radioluminescence. Chemiluminescence is seen in a variety of organisms from fish to insects like lightning bugs or even fungi, but it's also what causes glow sticks to glow. When certain chemicals come into contact with each other, they can release energy in the form of light. These reactions will stop or slow down as the reactants disappear. You can slow down the reaction by putting them in the fridge or a freezer. Phosphorescence is much more common for plastics and stickers. These glow-in-the-dark objects work by using phosphors, called zinc sulfide or strontium aluminate, to absorb energy throughout the day, and then release it slowly when the lights go out. The last type is radioluminescence, which again uses a phosphor to absorb the energy. But instead of absorbing it from light alone, it also includes a radioactive element such as radium, tritium, or promethium. These atoms will give off energy, which then is absorbed by the phosphors. These have an advantage over phosphorants because they can stay bright for hours after the lights have been turned off. Now we know why all of these things glow, but why green? Well, most phosphors emit green light. We can and do make other glow-in-the-dark items that aren't green, but they don't last as long and they're not nearly as bright. Now when you're laying in bed at night looking at those glow-in-the-dark wall ornaments, you can understand exactly what you're looking at and why they glow. Thanks for watching and have a super duper delicious day.